Hi there, and welcome to the Explaining History video cast. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to talk a little bit about the long term causes of the Suez Crisis. Um, this is particularly important for students, obviously, um, studying. Uh, the modern Middle East, studying Cold War relations and studying um, 20th century Britain, uh, post-war Britain, uh, because it was a moment of immense transition. Now, one of the reasons why we study the Cold War, um, the Suez Crisis, I beg your pardon, is because it is one of these turning points in the 20th century. It's a moment where the British and French realised that they were no longer great powers and that there were bigger superpower players operating in the world. And the British had particularly had not really uh, allowed this to sink in after 1945 and uh, both Britain and France still throughout the 1950s were behaving like colonial powers particularly in Africa and France in Vietnam and Algeria. The game was up however after, after Suez and the reason why Britain is brought to her knees is that she is financially crippled by America who um, look with great alarm on uh, what Britain is doing, and she's humiliated the United Nations. We also see a classic example of one of the trends that really um, defines the second half of the 20th century, and is this uh, explosion of third world nationalism. Uh, NASA um, was the independent leader of a newly vital and um, determined uh, culture within Egypt that had, since 1882, had to endure uh, foreign control of the country. And really, you, you can go back all the way to uh, Napoleon's mission to Egypt in the late 1790s, and that's when Egypt really uh, was at first officially colonised. The um, Egyptians um, had uh, embraced Nasser because of his ability to articulate many of their angers and frustrations. The British had been fairly unwelcome guests in Egypt throughout World War II, and they'd hung on in the canal zone thereafter. Nasser was part of the non-aligned movement at the uh, Bandung Conference of 1955, where 25 newly uh, decolonised countries gathered together to form some kind of uh, non-aligned third position within the Cold War, not wanting to become the um, client states of either the Soviet Union or the United States of America. And this presented to both sides, but particularly to um, America and Britain, a very alarming precedent uh, within the Third World, and perhaps something that was more alarming uh, even than the third world countries that chose to be client states of um, the, the communist world. The threat of uh, independent action um, and, in, and nationalism put vital resources and um, facilities such as the Suez Canal in dire threat. Britain, after all, had enriched herself uh, throughout the previous century by being able to dictate the terms from everyone from Egypt to India to China. And uh, a, an assertive and increasingly well-armed third world country like Egypt was uh, not a, a happy prospect. The British, um, whilst Churchill was in power from 1951 to 55, had hoped that they could see um, a way to uh, bringing Egypt into um, the uh, CENTO uh, organisation, which was another strand of the um, encirclement policy of the, the Soviet Union, or the encirclement policy by the Western Allies of the Soviet Union. Uh, CENTO, or well, its principal members were Turkey and Pakistan and the, uh, the, Iran, the uh, Shah's Iran, and Egypt um, refused to uh, to join. Egyptian nationalism and Arab nationalism uh, found the idea of a um, Western-run, Western-backed uh, military alliance against the Soviet Union as contrary to the purposes of the Arab world and, and kind of objectionable to Arabs who had been colonised by the Western powers for the previous century. 
the uh, post-war church administration had paid particular interest to the Middle East and to the oil-producing parts of the world. Britain had lost India and Britain had uh, retreated from various parts of her empire that were, um, or was in the process of retreating from various parts of her empire that were not kind of chief profit-making entities. But the British government was reluctant to um, relinquish control over what they called East of Suez, uh, places such as Aden or Kuwait, where the British weren't de facto colonists, but the existence of British forces and British uh, consuls and British um, political power ensured that the uh, rulers of these newly, uh, in inverted commas, independent countries uh, towed the line as far as British oil interests went. And oil interests are the key. And the, the demonstration of British power and of, well, Anglo-American power in 1953 is the overthrow of Mohammad Mossadegh in Iran, the new left-of-centre nationalist leader who was uh, proposing to nationalise the uh, Anglo-Persian oil company, uh, which later on went on to become British Petroleum, and use the profits to uh, raise standards of living for Iranian people. The uh, net flow of monies out of Iran was uh, objectionable to Mossadegh, but his decision to go ahead with the nationalisation leads to his his downfall. The uh, MI6 agent uh, in charge of the operation, Montgomery Woodhouse, proposed the idea to Churchill Uh, along with uh, involvement from the CIA, and later in his memoirs, frankly admitted that he was ultimately responsible, really, for bringing, for the the processes that brought the the Ayatollah Khomeini to to power. Churchill's foreign secretary, Anthony Eden, had done uh, much of the um, management of the relationship between Egypt and uh, Britain, throughout the early 1950s. But when Churchill um, stepped down due to old age and ill health and uh, Eden uh, took over, the the relationship very quickly broke down. Eden was immensely popular in the country. His um, pre-war um, exploits, his, his pre-war actions in uh, resigning in protest against appeasement in 1938 had demonstrated to the British public that here was a man of integrity, here was a man who knew his own mind, and here was a man who was insightful enough to see that appeasement would come to nothing. Obviously, uh, Churchill um, and Lloyd George had both immensely admired Eden, and Eden was um, young, um, articulate, charismatic, and seen as great uh, statesman material. The only problem with uh, much of this is that it was a facade. Uh, Eden himself was not the confident um, player that he appeared to be. He was a deeply troubled, deeply unhappy man, uh, introverted and uh, shy, and not suited in many ways to the machinations of Westminster politics. And also he was extremely unwell, he had um, had a number of uh, very traumatic operations in the early 1950s that had left him, his health weakened, and his health would further go into decline during the, the Suez crisis. So what we see here is we have this um, confident and passionate and um, assertive leader in the guise of uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser, the... Uh, Colonel who had been part of the uh, conspiracy to overthrow the Egyptian king, uh, King Farouk, um, and who himself, um, after 1954, uh, becomes the leader of not just Egypt, but really of the, the kind of the wider Arab nationalist movement. And here is a figure who does not want to commit himself to either the American or the um, Soviet spheres but instead is keen to see what he can get uh, from both worlds and uh, how he can leverage both worlds in order to get the best deal for Egypt. This does not go down well in Washington. 
President Eisenhower becomes increasingly concerned by uh, the friendship that he sees developing between the Soviet Union and Egypt. And when an arms deal in 1955 equips the um, Egyptian army with state-of-the-art uh, aircraft, artillery and training, there is a deep concern. Eisenhower does not believe that any country in the third world can have a foot in both camps. And as a result of the uh, friendship between the uh, Soviet bloc and Egypt, Eisenhower cancels the um, funding, along with the British, for the Aswan High Dam project. The Aswan High Dam, it was part of the damming of the Nile, was um, hoped by NASA to irrigate large sections of arid Egypt and to create an agricultural uh, boom within the country. But the ending of funding doesn't uh, clip NASA's wings in the way that was intended. Instead, NASA looks to the Suez Canal as an asset and as something that he believes belongs to Egypt and says, well, this, instead of, if we can't fund things with the dam, this will create the revenue if we own it that will not only help us to finance the building of the dam but will also finance social reform in Egypt and modernisation and everything else we're looking to do. And it will also send a clear message to Europe that we are not being pushed around anymore. It will send a clear message to Europe that we can control the movement of oil between the Arabian Peninsula and Western Europe and the United States of America. On the uh, 26th of July 1956, uh, during an impassioned speech, NASA um, mentioned the name of Ferdinand Lesseps 14 times. The word, was, the word Lesseps was a code to the Egyptian army to seize the canal zone. The canal zone, by treaty, had been vacated by the British that year, and it had been the home to 40,000 fairly kind of unhappy and bored and irritated British troops who uh, treated the local population with a degree of indifference and barely concealed racism and uh, general sort of uh, surly ignorance uh, and aggressiveness. There were a number of uh, clashes and uh, um, one, uh, a couple of fatal incidents between uh, British troops and locals uh, throughout the uh, early 1950s. But once the British had left, a canal zone was staffed only by uh, civilians, many of whom were indeed uh, British and European. And the canal zone is seized on July the 26th by the Egyptian army, which is seen as an, an enormous challenge to the British, particularly to Eden. Now, Eden, not in the best of health and not in the best of positions politically, undermined within his own party and being kind of outmaneuvered by both uh, Macmillan as Foreign Secretary and Butler as his Chancellor. Macmillan is eventually becomes the Chancellor himself. Um, views the actions of uh, NASA as a personal affront, a personal attack. Um, Macmillan, um, beg your pardon, Eden is seen as being soft on the forces of uh, Arabism abroad and soft on the kind of the, the left of his own party and the, um, the left in the, as represented by the Labour Party at home. And the time, the uh, vision, the image of uh, Eden as being this um, uh, confident character who had uh, dealt with Stalin even during uh, the Second World War is swiftly ebbing away. So challenging NASA and taking the canal zone back was essential to Eden and essential to his sense of um, purpose and his sense of himself as a politician who had agency and importance and who mattered. And it was a challenge he was re refused to back down from, even though he was advised by his foreign policy experts, and he was himself a foreign policy expert, his, much of his career had been in the foreign office, to find some kind of compromise. So uh, Eden engaged in secret meetings with the French and the Israelis at Severus and a, a plan that was not to be run by the Americans. And here is the, the downfall. 
Um, the Americans were not happy with NASA himself, but had they been consulted and involved in the plan, it may well have succeeded to uh, the satisfaction of what uh, Eden was trying to uh, achieve. The um, plan was that the Israelis would seize the Sinai Peninsula, uh, would invade as a ground force, and then in a bid to keep the two warring sides apart, the French and the British would land at Port Said and parachute into the canal zone and prevent uh, further bloodshed by presenting themselves both as peacekeepers. The uh, plan was to go ahead on October the 29th, 1956, and all running smoothly, the canal zone would be back in British hands shortly after. Now, in the next of these podcasts, I'll talk about what actually happens and the fallout from this immense crisis that in nearly brings uh, the, the world to the point of nuclear war and the impact that this eventually, uh, the humiliating climb down that eventually ensues, has on Britain's long-term position in the world and the end of her pretensions of imperial power.